Hey everybody, it's Matt here from Each Beautiful Day and welcome back. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday morning, in fact. You, you have no idea where I am, have you? Yeah, my okay, it's Bunnings. Bunnings Warehouse. Funny enough, I've already been to a Bunnings early this morning at about 7.30am. What am I even doing up at that ungodly hour? That's exactly right. That's a very good question. Well, I had to take the car into the auto electrics as part of it being fixed as part of when it got hit in the shopping centre over the Christmas period and part of the whole insurance fix everything up approach. Well, anyway, she had to go back in auto electrics first thing this morning. Luckily, it was a quick one, but it was a bit of a sojourn from where we now are, all the way in the Fremantle area, all the way back over to... Well, listen, unfortunately, but I did do a Bunnings trip to get some stuff ready to drill holes in the wall. So we're going to be hanging a lot of stuff up today, pictures, clocks, you name them. So that sort of thing is coming together. In fact, the whole apartment is coming together. Well, why am I at Bunnings? <laughs> That's the fourth time in two days. Ah, I should have shares in the company. Anyway, I love Bunnings. Who doesn't? What guy in Australia does not love Bunnings? Seriously. So I have to actually get a hand towel rail for Diane for her bathroom and I need to get a little suction cup shelf to put on the mirror in my tiny tinsy wincy little bathroom so that I can put something up there um, then it's across to dusk over in Coburn Gateway to get a little platter tray thing for Diane to put a diffuser on in her bedroom um, as well as to Big W to get a couple of things there so come with me on the journey and let's see what we pick up so I'm going to get the Mondello Maestro towel ring. That's a chrome one, and that's for 27.10. I actually found the Mondello brand actually quite effective over the years, so I'm going to stick with that one because it works. Now they do actually have some nice um, squidgies here, but a little bit on the pricey side to what I'm used to, so we're not going to get those. What I am looking for are the suction cap things, and there's a lot of them here. Fusion Lock is the brand that I'm consistently using because it actually locks in. It's a suction cup. It holds a lot of weight. I think these ones hold up to about 26 kilograms um, and they actually do exceptionally well. We've had a lot of the suction cup products in the shower and laundry bathroom areas consistently um, and they haven't actually let us down. So that's again another brand which I stick with. So those soap dispensers, also shampoo and conditioners, might be a good idea in the bathroom for Diane. Um, for a little bit more of ease of access. So all she has to do is press on the button for it to dispense. I'll have a chat to her about those when we get home. If you've used any of those in your shelves, leave some information in the comments below. Did they work? Do you find them useful? Is it easy to top up? Is it effective? Love to hear your thoughts. Okay, well that was a pretty quick in and out. I knew what I was looking for and then got what I wanted. Um, that was a good pop. It's loud in there today. <laughs> it feels like a bit of a disco sometimes when you go into Bunnings. Not the best of environments for people who've got sensory issues, um, and that's one of the things that we're always conscious of for dying when we're out and about. Hence why she has to wear the noise cancellation earbuds or the over ear headset. Well, I certainly won't be going, unfortunately, to the garden centre at Bunnings and getting any real live plants. Um, we don't have any watering facilities either in our back patio or our front outdoor area in space. So um, that would require things like a watering can, obviously if we've got um, trips away, hospitalizations, just general sort of maintaining a garden, or whether it was even a, a vertical fruit and veg or herb sort of garden, um, we're not really conducive in this environment because I couldn't set up a reticulation system, an automator or anything along those sort of lines. So it would be very requirement on manual and a hand watering, watering can solution. So unfortunately, we're stuck with the plastic um, fake plants from Ikea, but that's okay. They don't die on us. That's a good thing. Okay, so I found my way through to Coburn Gateway Shopping City. Um, starting to find my way around these new areas, and it does take a little bit of time. I'd like to hear from you guys. Do you guys use Google Maps? Do you use Google Ways? Um, are there other programs that you use for navigation on your phone that you find better? And why? I'd love to hear in the comments below. Now, like I said before, I'm going up to go to Dusk and also Big W. Hopefully there's something else that I need to do, but let's find out what I do end up getting. And up we go. Or is it ground? I think we're basement. Who knows? No instructions are given. We're in the basement. Let's go to the ground level, see where that takes us. Ah, 
takes so long to find your way around and learn things. It really does. I hate lack of familiarity. And look, Diane's feeling exactly the same. It's very stressful. Um, acclimatising to a new location and just getting to know where everything is and, and what to do and how to do it again. It all takes time. I don't need to go to Kmart, that's a good thing. Alright, mission at dusk has been achieved and we've got the rose gold platter, mirror based platter, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, found. Now, they do have pretzels here as well as a very large food hall. I think I'll actually go a pretzel after I've been into Big W. So let's get Big W sorted out because we know what we have to get there. I've also got to find a bouncy ball. A what? A bouncy ball. Yes, I've got to find a bouncy ball for Willow. Let's see what I find. I think school might be back because it's now nice and quiet. A chance to be able to get around your local shopping centre without screaming kids. Just sightseeing, basically. So that's a nice change. Look how quiet it is, seriously. Oh, I have missed that for a couple of weeks. Right, is it in the pecs section? Let's see what we find. Okay, so I think these balls might be a little bit too big for him. Hmm, no, I'm having much joy there. I think I'm gonna have to go to the sports section. Okay, so we found tennis and we found some balls. Maybe, ah, I see something over in the distance. Now, there are monster high bounce balls. Oh, and they actually do bounce high. There's the plain ones. Okay, that's not bad as well. And then there's ones that have got things like smiles and other patterns on it. You reckon? It's not bad. Then also, that's more his size. But, ah. I like that one. Instead of throwing it on the floor. It's got more of a cute face and the colour's good. Green. Winner. Fishing. Tackle. Camping. Maybe. Good. I'm trying to work out where the bags will be. Hmm. This way. So it should be in the travel section. We're looking for a Barbie duffel bag. Okay, now, just to make sure, $25. That's exactly what we're looking for. Perfect. Now this is actually going to be Diane's um, hospital bag. So it's gonna be all fully pre-packed for us to be able to pick up and run, ready to go at any point in time that she needs to go to ED, inpatient stay, and even have in the back of the car, even if we've got appointments, just in case of, sometimes things get kept in you can never predict so and also means too if i have been to ed and i haven't got this i can race home pick up the bag or send a care or someone and say hey pick up this bag and it's got everything all her toiletries spare change of clothes all the things that she might need pressure care you name it ointments creams medications all in the one bag and of course it'd have to be pink and it'd have to be barbie <laughs> 